Hey MeetTowers, this is a different video, it's a little bit more practical. I'm going to show you how to import a used car from Japan to Australia. So the very first thing you have to do is go on the Australian government website and find which cars are allowed. Here I've got the page open to Toyota Crown Magister from years 99 to 04 and the very important thing to note is the model code here which is S17. Now if we go down the page, you're only allowed to bring ones with a 4 litre V8 or a 2.5 litre turbo motor and that's the only requirements, there's nothing else that has to be done. All this stuff is just telling you what's not allowed so we don't need to worry about that too much. Now the next stage is to go on to a Japanese car auction site and find some examples of this kind of car. So I'll just do a quick search. Okay, I'm now on the page. Here's Toyota Crown, engine sized 4000 and the year 97 to 04. And we can scroll down and find some examples for sale. Here's a couple here. A 2002 model, another 2002 model. For kilometres is 51,000 kilometres, but that's got an R here, so don't buy that, that R is extremely bad. And here we are, we've got one 85,000 Ks with a number 4. The number 4 is basically for top 2 to 3 grades. The very, very top grade is something like 99, which means 99% perfect. The next one is 4.5, and this 4 is one of the very top grades, so it's an awesome car. I'll click on it and see if I can open it. Okay, so I've opened it and there is a problem, it's in Japanese, but that's okay, I'll show you the bits that I know. This one here is for motor size, this is for month and year, so this is January, and this year is, um, I think, 2002. The Japanese have different years, this 14 means 2002. Now, this is automatic transmission, and the F means floor, it has aircon will come down here. Okay, it's got a couple of dents on the front passenger's door because it's right-hand drive, something on the roof. And this here is the chassis number, which is important. You can do a search and see if a car's been in accident or sold before. This is um, headlights, special headlights, which is awesome. Okay, here's a photograph. We can see the car's kind of two-tone white. Has mag wheels, like aftermarket mag wheels, which is awesome. Looks to have rear tinted windows, which is awesome. And it's in Nagoya, which happens to be a port city, which is the absolute best place to buy if you want to go to Australia. You need to buy from, from port cities like Nagoya or Tokyo, so you're not paying extra transport costs to freight them to the port to export them. Now finally, I'm on the sales statistics page, so I'm seeing how much these cars go for. I've done a search and I'll just narrow it down and show you some prices. Okay, we've got a 2001 model with 137 Ks, hasn't sold. Next one is 133 Ks, number 4, that's done 52,000 yen. Next one is 55,000 yen, 3.5 is not too bad a grade. Next one it doesn't say, next one with these stars here, that's extremely bad, that's even worse than the R, and that's 42,000 yen, 46,000 yen. So if I look at this one here, which is done 133,000 Ks and is a 4, I'll quickly tell you how much this 52,000 yen is. Okay, so 52,000 yen is 458 American dollars, and I'll just do Australian dollars as well. Okay, so that's 608 Australian dollars, so it's really cheap, isn't it? That's not much money at all. Okay, so when you actually buy it, you're going to get a whole series of photographs. Here's um, for drivers, obviously, driver's seat and instrument panel.
Okay, the next photo is the underbelly, so you don't want one that's excessively dirty or has dents and all that. Okay, the next one is a radioactivity test. This is fine, this amount of radiation is normal, so that's fine. Next one is a photo of the actual body of it. And then here's the other side. And here's the front. And here's the other side. Here's its mileage. And here's the inside. Um, I, I like cars with these funny seat covers on them. It means the people have taken good care of the car and cared enough to buy the funny covers. So, and here's the front seats. And here's the motor. And here's the trunk. Well, so anyway, this is part one of the video. I'm going to cut it off here. And next time I'll talk about importing it, how much it costs and how to get through customs and all these happy things. So I'll see you next time.